More nicknames of Catholic saints and some who are on the road to sainthood. Be sure to check out the first video. St. Albert the Great boots the bishop because as bishop of Regensburg, he traveled primarily on foot and presumably wore boots. St. Euphrasia of the Sacred Heart, the mobile tabernacle. This mother superior of the Carmelite convent of St. Mary at Olor in India of the Syro-Malabar Rite basically radiated piety, holiness, and a sense of the divine. So her fellow Carmelite sisters gave her that amusing but ultimately affectionate nickname. Speaking of holy Carmelite sisters, we have the Little Arab and the Lily of Palestine, both references to St. Miriam of Jesus Crucified. She was a mystic originally from Galilee of the Melkite Greek Catholic Rite. Lolong was the name of one of the largest crocodiles ever held in captivity. It was also the nickname given to Venerable Teofilo Camamot, who had a generous love and care for the poor in the Philippines in the mid to late 1900s. Lolong translates roughly to grandfather. In a similar vein, laywoman, servant of God, Ana Maria Moreno Castillo was a friend to the poor of Panama and was called Nina Anita. If people refer to you as Benintio, as a child, it is truly miraculous when later on in life you're on the road to canonization. Such is the case with pampered popular rich girl turned Carmelite sister and Marian devotee, Venerable Teresita Quevedo. Benintio essentially means little poison. Mary McKillop also had a nickname as a child. She was Nadthek Modahil, according to her maternal grandfather, which is supposedly Scots Gaelic for precious thing. Next up, Miguel Pro was given the nickname Cokel as a child because it was one of his favorite foods. He later used Cokel as a codename when he was ministering to his flock during the Cristeros era in Mexico. See our previous video, Secret Agent Saints, for more information. Casimira Kapas was born in Lithuania in 1880. By the time of her death in 1940, she was known as Mother Maria Kapas, the foundress of the Sisters of St. Casimir, the establisher of hospitals and schools that were particularly concerned with the well-being of Lithuanian immigrants in Chicago, Illinois. Of course, the newspapers at the time dubbed her Chicago's second Cabrini. Lastly, St. Fidelis of Sigma Ringin, before joining the Franciscans, had the very self-explanatory nickname of the poor man's lawyer. So what other nicknames of saints did we miss? Comment below. And last video's question scenario winner is... Congratulations. This video's question scenario is to give a funny name to a language learning app that is specifically geared towards Catholics. And for more random yet delightful Catholic videos like this one, be sure to subscribe to Random Catholic Thoughts. Thank you very much.